Hello everybody. Uh, it's been crazy. Just driven five hours from uh, Massachusetts to Ithaca, New York. Uh, basically, the uh, Milky Way core visibility season is coming to an end and uh, decided might as well uh, come and do uh, the Milky Way tonight from uh, Taganak Falls or one of the other waterfalls. I think Taganak might be the best opportunity because it faces in the right direction. But anyway, that's, that's still much later this evening. So in the meantime, uh, we decided to explore Ithaca and some of the waterfalls that are in downtown. There's... So this is the view of Ithaca Falls from the bridge. And uh, actually looking down, I can see somebody in the water. Ithaca Falls, it's actually in Cornell University in the campus. Uh, one of the uh, very interesting waterfalls in the greater Ithaca area. So we're going to head on down and uh, see what kind of shots we can get. It's still a little bright, so there may be some, uh, you know, blowing out of the highlights on the waterfall. But uh, that's okay. It's, uh, you know, still worth it. So just to give you an idea of how beautiful this place is, uh, if I go and point the camera further to the left, uh, it's going to blow out because the sun is uh, setting on that side and the highlights are just uh, incredible but it's uh, absolutely gorgeous the the face of the cliffs uh, phenomenal and the way the water is flowing you can see uh, it cutting into the rocks and that's I think you know basically how this entire uh, gorge has been carved so let's move forward uh, and get closer to the waterfall and uh, I'll show you that image in a bit. The riverbed and uh, the, the waterfalls right behind. Uh, I'm going to step away and so you can get a view of it. Uh, the sun's still very bright, so it's probably going to be totally blown, uh, but give you an idea of how gorgeous it is. It's really, really beautiful. So let me just step aside and hopefully uh, you can get a good visual of the falls with the trees in front. Um, it's just absolutely phenomenal. And uh, let me see if I can actually get the exposure to, to drop a little bit and move in, zoom in a little closer. Well, actually, it's not, not too bad. Uh, you can get, get some idea, but I'm going to wait till uh, the sun goes down and it's uh, not so bright because if I, if I shoot this, it's basically going to be nothing but uh, completely blown out highlights. So we're going to move forward and see what else I can get. Uh, but this gives you an idea of just how beautiful uh, these waterfalls are. Now, now clearly there is a, a bridge that goes over the falls and uh, I'm going to have to crop the image so that the, uh, the bridge does not come in view because it's not very good. The stanchions and the way the bridge is constructed, it's all metal. Uh, I wish it was one of the old, uh, you know, arc kind of bridges with stone facades and things like that. But that's not what this is. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and move uh, further forward and then uh, set up for uh, a composition and uh, let's see what one gets. Just to give you an idea of how much water is flowing, I think all this is really because of the uh, tremendous amount of rain that we've had over the past few weeks, uh, particularly with uh, both the hurricane and uh, the other weather patterns uh, that have just resulted in nothing but tremendous downpours. So uh, this is as a result of that. I've never seen this waterfall flow this way. As I started walking closer to the waterfall, I saw these reflections and it's absolutely beautiful uh, the way the gold is reflecting in the water. And most of the gold is coming from uh, the trees and uh, the rock face. So uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to go and uh, look for a composition and take one of these shots. What I'm doing for my composition is 
I've got most of the uh, foreground with some pebbles that are kind of a leading line uh, pulling you in into the very very beautiful gold that I showed you earlier and uh, so just to give you an idea of my settings I'm at f13 and 1.3 seconds uh, really for two reasons one to smooth some of the water out and also to just get enough of that color intensity what I might do is actually uh, lower my ISO to ISO 50 and rather than put on a neutral density filter and get some sort of a color cast I'm just going to uh, use ISO 50 and then slow the shutter speed even more. So this is the image uh, that I captured. I've cropped it to a 16 by 9 format. I think it uh, really looks nice um, in, in this, this particular format. Um, and also, uh, just uh, for your reference, I used the uh, Panasonic uh, S1R with the 24 to 70 f2.8 lens. Uh, for the capture. All right, so I've got this thing framed from about where I was standing earlier and uh, Clearly one of the things that I'm going to have to do is to to bracket Because the dynamic range is absolutely uh, tremendous and uh, the, the water is practically black and The waterfall is overexposing so definitely this is going to require uh, at least three if not five bracketed shots and then what I want to do is you know, move closer because I have an overhanging branch with uh, some leaves that are really a distraction on the left side of the frame so I'm actually going to you know, go in uh, a little later and in this particular image I'm going to have to crop down considerably and I'll show you the image once I've taken it so a uh, five shot bracket and I think that's probably going to do it for this one. But clearly this is not the image I'm looking for as uh, the final capture because I need the sun to, to actually go behind uh, the trees uh, and then you know, get the shot at that juncture. So this gives you an idea of how uh, the dynamic range is going to really kill the shot. but. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait uh, till the sun drops below at least the tree line and uh, hopefully at that point the, the light will be pretty evened out. The unfortunate thing is, uh, and but fortunate for tonight, is that there are no clouds which are going to catch any light and reflect any color down onto the waterfall. So uh, you can't get the best of both worlds, but this one's a good one. So I'm at the waterfall and uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me or not. The sound is just tremendous. Uh, the water gushing down and uh, if you can see there is some beautiful light on the upper left of the waterfall, just in the, the rock area there. And uh, I'm going to try and see if I can capture that. So for the moment I'm going to just concentrate on getting a few images and then uh, we'll get back um, and maybe I'm going to have to do a little voiceover for this one. Fortunately, I think the uh, audio is not too bad so I'm not going to worry about doing a voiceover. Uh, this is the eventual image uh, that I was able to capture. One of the nice things is as you come closer to the waterfall, uh, you're low enough so the bridge that was visible um, kind of disappears because of your angle of view. And I think that uh, makes for a much cleaner presentation. Thank you so much for uh, watching and I hope you enjoyed uh, this particular video. Um, I am looking forward to your subscribing to my channel and when you do please also remember to click on the bell icon uh, so that you get notified of uh, any future videos that I produce. So take care and uh, wish you all the best. Bye for now.